Yo, what up, internet? Peace, yo. Welcome to Bricks and Beer, episode forty-six. Forty-six, and we have beer. Cheers, internet. Welcome uh, to another episode of Bricks and Beer. Another random one. Another happenstance one. Um, now I feel like Cheers. the fucking Ronin Lug episodes are complete. <laughs> so uh, we have a trilogy now. Yeah. Uh, if you don't know, this is Paul, aka Lego Samurai. Welcome all. He's hanging out tonight. Happy to meet you. Uh, we have a gaggle of dogs, a pack of dogs. I guess gaggle. Pack, I would say. It's, it's gaggle, yeah. I think, is geese. I'm, we haven't yet to resolve the pack leader, but yeah, they're, they're uh, kind of sleeping everywhere. So, well, my dog's on bug patrol out there. So, yeah. <laughs> mine are just lazy. It is what it is. <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, fucking thanks for hanging out. Tonight's beers are a couple of new ones: Angel City IPA. And Wolf Pup Session IPA. Wow, I didn't realize this. We got LA beers. So, fucking, there you go, LA. Yes, I did. And I sat in traffic for four fucking hours today. So, yes. well, welcome to LA. That is LA. Uh, this is pretty good, man. I dig it. I dig I it. I like it. Um, yeah, Angel City's good. We've only had them once before, so. I've um, had I've had a few of their beers. It's funny because these guys kind of have a beef. I know this because I went to Golden Road mm-hmm. for a. Uh, of all things, like a sales meeting a couple uh, of years yeah. back, and Golden Road was purchased by Anheuser. Yeah, they just sold out. Yeah, it's unfortunate. But yeah. the the chick who America. probably who probably told us like way too much. And granted, this is like third hand years ago. <laughs> but she was like, "Yeah, so it's cool because they're not fucking with us. Like they no. haven't told us to change any of our recipes or like source through different suppliers well, or they, anything." They do make good beer. It's true. I, I was just yeah. saying that Wolf Among uh, Wolf Among Weeds was um, uh, probably one of my favorite IPAs of all time. So yeah, yeah. Um, so this is definitely in similar. It's it's cool because um, uh, like we have stories for days because Paul and I have known each other forever. But it's it's funny now to like drink fancy beers with you because I remember you just drinking like the shittiest <laughs> right. of beers when we were God, kids. We had such bad. I didn't even like beer, <laughs> dude. Dude, so do you know that Zima is back? Like, there's all that retro shit that's coming back, but Zima me? is back. That's yeah, retarded. dude. And like I'm would okay. fucking drink Zima. I'm sorry. I'm oh, really, you know, you, no so offense, but here's, who would drink Zima? Here's the thing. So uh, <laughs> shout out to this dude, Dinosaur Dracula. Um, he's, ri- he's ridiculous. He he hosts like a retro podcast and this weird. He's into like retro shit, hmm. but he's our age. Okay. So he's like cool. fascinated by things by like Crystal Pepsi yeah. and like shit oh, like that. Shit. So like like that. Apparently <laughs> Zima and he like wrote this article. Uh, I guess I'll link it below. Um, about Zima, and he talked about drinking Zima underage, and he was like, I don't condone underage drinking, but I have to say, the target market for the resurgence of Zima right. is not people who were 21 when Zima came out in 1996. They were fucking 16 in 1996, yeah. and they were fucking drinking right. Zima and saying <laughs> fruit roll-ups like, in it. And like, shit. Yeah, like... Drinking it at, like, high school parties. Being oh, fucking fuck. children. Should I so, know uh, about? Anyway. Kids, stay away from Zima. It's uh, it's not very good. Like, say no to drugs, kids. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, helps if it's the right I, way around. I guess we'll talk about Lego. So, I I kind of like sprung this on Paul. Well, Paul kind of sprung this on me. Kind of like Fredo sprung the last episode on me, which is like perfect timing. It all has to do with the airport and my proximity <laughs> to living to the airport. Uh, except for this time, you don't have to run out in five minutes like yeah. Fredo did. Back to the four hours in traffic, dude. So follow up on that episode. So like we record that episode, oh and it's a complete shit show. Like we should not have recorded it, but we literally called the Uber, and then my wife and I nearly had a heart attack. For the next, it, the, the Uber ride to the airport normally is 15 minutes, 20 sure, right? minutes. God, it's not that far. Oh, can you guys hear that? Hold on. That's a plane. <laughs> so, uh, you probably can't hear that. That's probably a really not funny joke that I didn't pick up. Um, but anyway, so we're like, normally it's like 15 minutes. Dude, that night, for whatever reason, like he took like the fully booked red eye. Oh, God. Right. So it was just, he was like, oh, holy shit. It took him 45 minutes to get there. And we were like, <laughs> He has to board. Like, right now, he has to check a bag. Oh, dude. And he has to scan a carry-on full of metal pipes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, you're dead. You're so dead. Oh, and my wife's fucking freaking out. She's like, he's going to have to come back. Dude, they were doing... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go pick him up from the airport. Oh, and then we're thinking right. about it, and we're like, immediately, we're like, okay, so if he's got to be at this lightsaber tournament that kicks off tomorrow morning, what is the next plane after the red eye? Right. Oh, it costs... 
a thousand dollars or something like yeah, dumb, and we you were like, pay for it. We were like, okay, so that's not gonna happen. So Fredel, if he if he misses it, which is kind of my fault, like a hundred percent. If he had missed it, and I put that on the internet, I would have been the biggest dick of a friend ever. Like here's clearly <laughs> how we made Fredel miss his plane. But you know what? He called the Uber. He fucking made it. Nice. Shout out to you, Fredel. Fredel. Hmm. Dude, same thing today. I literally sat in four hours of traffic to get to the airport and made it within a half hour of the flight. And oh. like, they still got on. It that's, was. It, <laughs> that's fucking brutal. That's it brutal. It was a rough day. What yeah. Can I say? Well, hey, man, I'm glad you came through. I'm glad you were able to bring the pups. Thanks for having we, me. We're kind of like, we, we have literally like dogs everywhere right yeah. now. So it's kind of like everywhere you look. It's kind of it's kind of great. You know, just mm -hmm. everybody's hanging out. And they're all happy and Oh, Sleeping. so we'll talk about some Lego shit. Uh, I got, I, this is kind of like a surprise episode, but fortunately I have some shit that I could just throw together and we could fucking talk about. Um, Paul and I go like way back Lego wise, like way back forever wise. But so I had this kid over, over the weekend we had this like 4th of July, like <laughs> lunch, barbecue, adult shit. So these people brought their kid over. And I was like, what is this kid going to do? So the kid did two things. One, I got this like giant crayon of knockoff Duplo, which I should have grabbed. It's upstairs. And we built a castle out of that. And then that's the mermaid nurse. And then I gave the kid three drawers. I gave her pants, <laughs> torsos, and heads, and then like a handful of hair. And then she was jamming on them. And then I just gave her the friends' bodies. So this is like the <laughs> army of kids who showed up. Oh yeah, there we go. Perfect. Yeah. Well, we'll do some some fancy camera work. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. It's half in focus. Keith, I, I think Keith commented on one other episode that I did, and he's like, "It's really blurry." And I'm like, "Yeah, dude, that's the value of production we go for." Um. So anyway, so like, I gave her this base plate. Like, I didn't set these up. She fucking like smashed these on. Like, that's the first. The first thing the kids want to do is like build. <laughs> characters like make story or whatever yeah so she's like doing yeah, that sure and i gave her like a mini fig base like one of these like three by four you know standard ones and she like jammed it on there and i was like okay you're old enough to like have the dexterity to do this i'm just gonna give you the base plate and you're gonna build an army so i, I was kind of checking these out the other day afterwards and there's there's a couple of favorites <laughs> of mine which are of course all the fucked up ones so like this alien dude with the ghost legs. Yeah. Like, yeah. She just was like, I'm going to pick all the weird parts. Love a ghost leg. Yeah, it's but fucking awesome, I right? It's like metal as shit. Sucker. And then check this one out. Uh, behind behind our friendly friend here is the robot arm with the punk rock hair. There you go. Oh my god, I didn't see that guy. Yeah, that guy's pretty <laughs> rad. He's next to the mermaid nurse. Nice. Who has no hands. Because, uh... <laughs> Somebody need flesh hands, I guess. Um, so yeah, so there's some fucking minifig action for you. Jeff uh, is fighting people on the internet about minifigs or whatever, so it's uh, it's relevant Lego content. Yes, there you go. Um, and there's Don Julio Spider Man. Oh yeah, I didn't even realize that one. Can you go out, dog? Interesting. I just want to make sure. It, like one of these dogs is a mastiff, so like we have the full selection of dogs right now. My dog is extra medium, because that's how I like pretty much everything in life. But like, and then Paul showed up, and one dog is small, and one dog is like huge, like mastiff huge. So I'm trying to keep the bugs out, but the dog is like as big as the door. So <laughs> it, it would push the door open. Yeah, yeah. So let's, you don't you, keep her in. Don't, don't look at the dog butt over there, the bugs flying in and biting us or anything. Yeah, we'll forget about that for now. Yeah, yeah, you know, moving yeah. on. Moving on. So uh, the next thing we'll talk about, um, Lego was, is uh, something pretty cool. So I, I broke, well, okay, let's back up. I, I broke my my streak, my, my moral guiding principle about Lego purchasing. If I was only going to buy Lego under retail, like on clearance, <laughs> on sale. Um, and then two things happened. Like my love of Star Wars came back. Uh, yeah. Which you know, it just it comes and goes. It's, it's bad. It, 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 and we're gonna guilty. talk. I'm, what can I say? I'm guilty of it. <laughs> Jeff and I have this like master plan to do this ridiculously long Star Wars episode, which is coming. It's in the works. It's just gonna take a. Lot. It's gonna. It's gonna be a lot of work. So yeah, I'm. Sure. I'm holding off on doing that. But 
This came out. And this is the best battle pack oh, known snap. to man. Yes. Dude, it's Good awesome. Good stuff. So I, I kind of, I, what I told Paul is I'm just going to pull a bunch of shit out yeah. that you haven't seen. So dude, they give you. Oh, this is the good one. They give you everybody but Boba Fett. Right. And fucking poor Zuckus. So these are the figs. You don't get the Han Solo, but you get the best IG-88 ever made. I want to buy like a hundred of these right. cones because the they're printed. It is perfect. But the Bosque, the Bosque is kind of weak, dude. It's the so, old school Bosque. It's the same one that they had before. But, look, so, I'll show you guys, and then we'll talk about it. So this is the new school Bosque, which has olive green um, flesh. There he is. Maybe the color correction is a little fucked up. And then he's got this super light yellow jumpsuit, which I hate that it's color. Too light yellow. But I love the printing. Here's the old box. Yes. This is bright like go. orange. That's the good one. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. this is pretty good if you swap mm -hmm. the the colors, but then you look at the suits and like, look at the printing on the, the new one versus the old one. Like the leg printing, that's the only thing. It's like, that leg printing, there well, you go. I never Focus. That. That's boom. Cool. Yeah. yeah, and it continues the jumpsuit and everything, mm -hmm. but I, I love this one, the OG one. Yeah, the color's a lot better. And the sculpt is exactly the same. Little color difference. Like yeah, the eyes like are slightly better. Green. Yeah, it's more of a, more of a moss green yeah. on the yeah. edge. Oh, one. there you go. There's kind of focus. Imagine you can see this internet. So, new school over here, old school over here. I like the old school color jumpsuit better, but I like everything about this one except for the, the jumpsuit color better. The uh, the fucking Dengar is worlds beyond what they did before. Yeah, like that's this Much is better. this is a fig that needed an update. Sure. Um, I'm super partial to like the ESB bounty hunters, uh -huh. and then fucking Forlom, dude, my favorite of the bounty hunters, because Forlom stands for the love of money, for, for the long. love of money. And it's not even that. Like, fucking, we'll talk to Jeff about this later. But there's, there's, deep. there's some deep That's cuts. Deep. There's some deep cuts. And then you also get this bike. So yeah. here you go. I don't well, know. The light blue it's, is cool. You know, you got that weird teal. It's really nice. And it's a bike. Yeah. It's cool. I mean, it's not bad, right? I mean, you're buying it for the figs, but yeah. there's, there's good stuff in there. For like, for a can, battle pack. Yeah. You know. Normally you just get four shitty stormtroopers and like right. a shitty bike. Like you get three major and like, characters. This in comes this. with the inverse studs in the blue, and this is the uh, whatever yeah, that. This blue is worth it. I don't know what it is. Dark Azor, Dark Azor. It's the, the yeah. See this. Out of the this game is, too long, there's so many people it. yelling at their computer right now. They're a bunch of Lego nerds who are like, "Why don't you know the current history, Paul? God." <laughs> It's like you were in the scene for years and then just stopped. <laughs> yeah, well, life happens. Yeah, kind of you know. Um, so, all right. So, we got two more things to check out. We got dogs roaming around everywhere. It's all good. Bosk for days. Bosk for days. Bosk for days. So, what's this little guy going on over So, here? this is the new Speed Champions McLaren set. It's the one with the drafting table. That's probably why you want to buy it. Um, oh, shit. Yeah, so it's pretty cool, right? So what it is... Oh, that's awesome. Is there's this little dude with a concept car and a little model. <laughs> and he has a desk lamp and a cup of coffee, because that's what you need to design super cars. But he's also... He's, he's not just an engineer, dude. He'll fucking mount up and uh, throw a helmet on and pilot his car. Because, you know, one minifig. Um... But yeah, so the car itself is really cool. So I've, I've, I've talked about these Speed Champion sets a bunch on the podcast. But uh, they're, they're fucking great. The hubcaps are awesome, dude. Like, it comes with this part. Let me show you this new part, Paul. Let me blow your mind here for a minute. Uh-oh. <sighs> oh, that's wrong. Um, you guys know what I'm talking okay, about. Okay, that's, that's just wrong right it's, there. It's kind of cheating, right? I love it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I'm gonna prevent your uh, rancor of a dog from going upstairs. Hold on, internet. Keep oh. them entertained, Paul. Yeah. Well, um, apparently my bold mastiff has run loose, so I'm not going after it. <laughs> She'll likely funny. lick you to death before she eats you. Dude, so, uh, um, so the, this is the mastiff's name is really Mama, nice. 
which I just recently watched um, part of the new Judge Dredd that came out a couple of years ago and the bad guy is Mama. Have you seen that? No. Oh, it's fucking rad. And Mama is a giant <laughs> crime boss and she's awesome. It's the guy that played Bones, right? He's the, yeah, what, yeah. I don't um, remember his name. Fuck, I should know his name. Um, <laughs> anyway. Funny story. I was in an elevator Perfect. with that guy one time and I can't remember his name. Cool story, bro. <laughs> So yeah, these speed champions. Okay, so are, back to the speed changers. Are right? fucking great. Uh, the windscreen's awesome. I love the fucking I know, windscreen. Yeah, that it's is good, a really right? great windscreen. Uh, check out these. So many. Check out these wing plates. That. Yeah. Saw yeah. That. These the are the, two by the new ones, two by twos. Two nice. by one and a half or whatever you whatever kids want to call them. Is. Um, That's nice. Yeah, it's good, man. These are good. good these are good sets, good dude. Parts. And like, this is. And boss can drive it. 161 parts. Which is for the price for the good. Hey, ladies, relax. Everybody kill the lady. Sorry, we have a dog patrol happening. Dog patrol. Okay, um, so we're going to move on to the final and last thing. You, I guess this is kind of like the informal review show. And Andrew tells weird stories about uh, Paul and his college relationships. Yeah. Oh God. Um, no, let's not, that's let's not talk episode. about the lack of those. Let's, let's <laughs> save that. So, the homie clutch, the man, All right, bricks it? on the dollar. This is a this is a mystery to me and Paul. Um, so he's doing this thing because he's the fucking hardest hustling Lego brick link dude ever. <laughs> I, I the guy has a scheme for everything, which I fucking this? love. This is this dude clutch. Huh. He's out of Philly, and he runs his own Brickling store. Oh, snap. That's and this cool. is Clutch's secret stash, exclusive Lego Monthly Mystery Box, which I did not realize was going to come in a VHS cassette. Right. Game, That's pretty which awesome. is fucking rad. It's a perfect shipping method. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, so it's got like a brick built background, and I'm is that bacon on his eyes? Wow, so I was going to kind of mention that, right? Like, what? what is the deal with this? I get that it's supposed to be secret, but he looks like Neo when he's blinded God. in the Matrix and he puts the fucking, like, it's a bloody bandage. rag blindfold on him, Jesus. right? So, uh, so far, we've got fucking excellent plus points for the packaging. Um, let's bust this open and uh, find out what the fuck is in here. Hopefully, uh... We got some good shit. Oh, that's some chrome. All right, all right. Let's let's read some shit here. Uh, thank you for signing up for the first ever. Send me your suggestions. What you liked, what you didn't like. Uh, reoccurring payment. Blah blah. Hashtag clutch secret stash. There you go, internet. Hashtag. I'm... Secret stash. Tag him on Instagram. That's how uh, Clutch and I communicate. All right, so I got a couple of things in here. The first thing we got to talk about, just because it was fucking the first thing we saw. Right? Just the most gangster thing. I did not expect him to, like, bust this out, but this is chrome? pretty good. Yeah. Those metal parts? They're not metal. They're vac chrome, and there's... Eight of them in here? One, two. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, no, seven. 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 Yeah. So... Odd number. I'm not. I'm not a huge fan of the odd number. Oh, okay. However, oh my god, look at that <laughs> gangster. This is a. That's some bling right there. Ooh, can't quite get. Yeah, it's a. Uh, and this is legitimate Lego Chrome. Yeah. Wow. This is probably the most gangster thing you could put in a fucking. I I expected him to have like a little bag of parts, but I didn't expect Chrome off the off the bat, and, and I didn't bling. expect this. Look at the bling. Yeah, this is good. I don't even have any of these, dude. I have a fucking like do that. wall of Lego behind me, and I have so now I have seven. So that's that's fucking excellent. Um, so okay, oh, we got no. It's a magnet. Excellent, because I have a beer fridge. Fresh produce daily. Your friendly neighborhood grocer. Three Main Street, Brickburg. I'm not sure if that refers to like somebody's store or what the deal is. Um. I'm down with it, though. It kind of looks like Lego food. Yeah, well, it definitely is Lego food, and the, the photograph in the background is a Lego mock. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> wow, that's nice. It does look kind of like a generic grocery ad, which is good. 
Um, it's pretty rad. Yeah, I don't really have any context for it, but I'm I'm not I'm not hating on this. This is pretty cool. Yeah. Um, all right, what do we got? What do we got next in here? Boom! No stickers, no paint, no decals. Oh wow! Shop online. Use a uh, code. You gotta buy the fucking box. Um. Oh, I, this isn't even clutch. Wait, what? Uh, Minifig FX. Jenny Wynn Lego products for featuring custom printed graphics. That's actually pretty cool. If they print their own shit, like if I could get some shit printed, like AKA some bricks and beer, minifig torsos, uh, I'll use the coupon. That's cool. I'm not, I'm, discounts are kind of a cop out, I feel like, in a mystery box. Like I want something cooler than that. Uh, but it does come with, and then maybe this is the package deal, is you get a Unikitty. And who doesn't like a Unikitty? I mean, like, that's good. It's good. Oh, there's a pizza. Where'd that come from? Sorry, what? I did, I, did, the pizza out of nowhere. There's not even any explanation for that. That's pretty rad. I'm a. You know what? Like, so. Okay, clutch. Discount code for something that I don't know for a vendor I don't know. Random pizza. Pizza. Oh yeah. All right. So, uh, oh, this is fucking rad. <laughs> you know what's amazing? Okay, so, context. We're looking in a VHS cassette right here. And <laughs> right next beer. to the VHS cassette is this beer cap from this beer from Angel City. It's good beer. It's not bad, right? Yeah, it kind of looks like the space. Oh, no, no. So, I reached that into <laughs> the bin to throw this away. Mistake. It's amazing. Galactic Cola. Um, this is fucking awesome. Dude. That's incredible. You got me with the classic space thing, period. You also got me with that, like, an optical illusion just happened where I thought this was trash and it wasn't. And I, I didn't expect this to have this. Um, it's cool because it's, un it's unpunched. So if you wanted to, oh, right. you could bottle your own Galactic Cola. Um, yeah, you could put it right on the bottle. Yeah, I'll probably just glue a magnet onto that, mm -hmm. and it will go next to this, you know? That'd it it awesome. kind of all goes together. That's more better. Uh, so yeah, a magnet over the bottle cap. The bottle cap thing is cool, though. I dig that. Um, I know they've been doing that at, like, Star Wars conventions a lot lately. It's like, collect a bottle cap. Here's some custom-printed shit. All right, so last thing. Oh, this is actually really cool. Um, I hope it's accurate. We're gonna do some science right now with a poorly nice. colored calorie camera. Oh, the new gray. Yeah, so, uh, very light gray, very light bluish gray, light gray, light bluish gray, dark gray, dark bluish gray, which is rad. This is a Pantone ship. Um, not, I, I don't, don't like to talk about work. I work in the graphic arts. Yeah, if you can't I'm tell familiar. the familiar. Paul and I, story time. Paul and I, and my wife actually, we all took this fucking stupid college class called color theory. And what I expected color theory to be, be a scientific class, production class, a thing where they used hexadecimal numbers. And they would go, here's how, I don't know, you see the world. Instead, you mixed 500 fucking different colors of gray to make your own swatch book when, you know what? Not one of those fucking swatch books, unless there is a savant genius, is accurate. No student from Cal Poly has ever painted a perfect swatch no, book. They were all different. Yeah, <laughs> every one of them. Stupid. <laughs> and you know what? You know what the dumbest thing about that is? I think about that now as a graduate of college, and we handed in a Pantone book, a, a huge, ridiculous, hand painted thing hours of hours and hours, fifty of different mixing. grades, and I guarantee mm. they went. Went from light to dark. Looks good. You pass. That's Next. Totally, like, that's exactly what happened. So, uh, you know, that's whatever. Exactly fuck, what fuck Pantone colors. But Whole real semesters. real Pantone colors, the real deal, are uh, actually really legit. So let's do a quick uh, science experiment. Since uh, Mr. Uh, Bricks on the Dollar here wants to uh, test his printing. Uh, here we go. All right. Oh, I don't have old dark gray. Hold on, let me find. Stand by here now. I know this makes for awesome podcasting. 
Did anybody mention we're nerds? Okay, very light, really, really close on you. Here we go. Let's see. Yeah, let's see one there. Okay. So, science time. Uh, very light gray. Yeah. Gonna say your printing's a little bit on the warm side, Clutch. Mm -hmm. It's a little warm. Uh, yeah. You can't see that because it's a one by one, so let's test the next one. Uh, very light bluish gray. Let's get, a, let's get a newer piece than that, just to, to fucking triple confirm. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a little warm. It's a little... Oh, there we go. So it's, it's pretty close. It's pretty close, but it's it's a little close. warm. Still a little that's warm. camera wise, this looks excellent. Yeah. Uh, and then there's light gray, which is yellowed, so you're never gonna nail that. But I would say actually on a whole, it's pretty good. It's not bad. There's the distinction. Um, you get it gets across. Yeah. You can definitely and then see the green. And then let's the let's camera. do a let's do a test of the darks. Ooh, the, the latter is actually pretty good. Yeah, yeah, you know, that's not bad. Um the the dark bluish gray is a little off. Like I definitely yeah. see it's a it's, it's a little more on the Yeah, it's just it's a little more open, but uh let's oh, maybe on the, the more coated side of the paper. You're such assholes. <laughs> um yeah, so not bad. Not bad. This is actually fairly useful. I, I uh, thought kind of it helps at, at the first does. because I'm a hater that this might be terrible. <laughs> but uh it's not a bad idea, man. It's cool. It's cool. I would definitely actually appreciate this for things other than uh, grays, mainly because I'm traumatized by Art 101 or whatever fucking nonsense we had to take. I was in the Art series. Yeah, that's how you know bullshit. Um, I think um, it was a 101. It's yeah, it was, it was, it, it's one of those classes where they go like, uh, you're signed up for art degree. Guess we gotta make you do something. Like, So, shout out to whoever that lady was. I mean, I guess she was nice. I hung out with girls in the art lab at like three in the morning. That was all right. Yeah, there was that. Dude, so there used to be this vending machine. I took a credit card. Oh, well, it wasn't a credit card. So you got oh, mule that was points. The most evil thing in the world. Well, yeah, because it's like, hey, okay, here's your meal plan. You, uh, you fucked up, and you. God, what was that place called? It's called the Avenue. The Avenue. <laughs> the Avenue. That's what it was. The Avenue. The Avenue. Open twenty four hours because it was run by robots. Fucking like eight types <laughs> of vending machines that made fresh fries, by the way. Mm hmm. Um. Best fries made place. by robots are uh, they're not Pretty bad. Good. They're yeah. not bad. I've got I've got fond memories of uh, robot fries. Yeah, that was that was what to go there for. So yeah, I guess that's uh, the review show. We looked at I don't know two sets, some custom minifigs, Clutch's secret stash, yelled at the dogs. Yo 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 Jimbo. This thing is fucking awesome, dude. Um, so there's your Ninja Turtle content for your Bricks and Beer episode. No. Uh, this went way better than I anticipated. Not because of you, Paul, just because the last couple have been kind of a fucking disaster. Yeah, yeah, they make for funny episodes, I guess. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. You know? Yes. Well, hopefully this one's appreciated, because I feel pretty silly. Hey, there you go. That's what it's all about. All right, kids. Uh, I guess that wraps it up. That was uh, lengthy, so uh, enjoy your fucking episode of Bricks and Beer. We'll see you in the future. Next one will be 47. Maybe we'll do something cool for episode 50. No promises.